Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about how to mask all edges. Yeah, and you can use it to bevel uh, the objects or, yeah, <laughs> maybe do what you want with it. So, masks like this here. Okay. Or here, such things. So I hide this group. So I turn the wireframe on. So this is a op test object I created. And first you need to combine this mesh. So I use voxlery mesh for this. And then only to show you don't need face groups. So I select this object and make only one face group. And the next step is here, you need a layer. So add a layer and you see here, the mesh is not smooth here at the moment. You can do it beforehand or yeah, now. So on this layer here, I'm using a little bit of smoothing. So the smoothing slider only to make it a little bit smoother here. And the next thing is you need a second layer. Add a layer again. And here you need more smoothing. So smooth a little bit more. And now go to the layers and here press the three dots and you see here our offset slider. So use this offset slider. Then you get something here like this here. And again here the three dots you see here the masking option, mask this. So now all the borders are masked. And it depends on the, um, on the offset you use here. So maybe offset like this, not so much like before. So then the the mask is a little bit smaller. So, and then you can go back with your layers here and you can delete them. And here in the mask settings here, you find the option to sharpen the, the mask like this. And also it's possible to invert the mask and here press sharpen again. And maybe you want a other face group for this. So when you clear the mask, then you get here the face groups and you can give all the other parts a separate face group like you want. So it's up to you. And so I'm using the mask. Sorry, I use connected. And here in the, to um, not topology, in the, yeah, in this menu here, um, you can now use the smoothing slider. And then you get something here like a bevel. And now we can clear the mask and use maybe the, the relaxing for the face groups and smooth it a, a little bit more. So I think you get the idea. So this is how it looks like and
So this is the object you get with a little bit of smoothing and here face groups. I think it's a nice thing um, you can play with. That's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.